Hello, and welcome back to the channel. We are continuing our playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. Sorry, it took me a second to remember what game we're playing. Um, we have made it into the Shadowlands and made it to the Last Light Inn. Uh, what does he want? Um, so, yeah. I think we need to actually go back and get Karlak because there's clearly a quest there, and... Oh. I really wish they had made the party management in this game better. Because I hate having to come back to camp and run to find people to have them leave my party and then have to run back to go get them again. It's super annoying to have to do it this way. You, there should just be an easy party ma party management uh, thing. Darling, I, I, it sounds... Yeah, yeah, yeah. My fighter's looking pretty badass, though. Okay, let's grab Karlak. Soldier. I need you to come on. Help. Oh, she leveled up too. I forgot. Okay, she gets extra attack and fast movement. And she gets an additional rage charge and a mindless rage. Your rage becomes all-consuming, repelling outside influence. You can't be charmed, frightened, or calm emo and calm emotions no, lo no longer end your rage. Okay, let's exit this. Oh, you know what? And I'm glad I had to put her in my party anyways, because I wanted to check out um, the axe for her. Um, I'm sorry. I want to run back, and I do want to run back and talk to... Now it's good to be alive. I want to go talk to Withers to see if I can adjust her skills because I wanted to give her Great Weapon Master. I think I wanted to give her Great Weapon I Master. I be here in my camp. Can you help me change? Thought... Well, no. Can I not just adjust the things on my class? Hmm. I mean, I guess I can just level up again. So I basically just go through the level process again. That's fine. So we're going to do Berserker. And then for feet, we're going to do Great Weapon Master. She gets another thing for her race. She gets another thing for level up to level six for that. All right, so now she's a great weapon master, which means that she'll have much better time. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, but it does take everybody with me, so that's good. So let's take her back and go talk to him. Does she have any infernal stuff on her? I thought I had more infernal iron on me. That's okay, we'll find more as we go. Karlak, I thought you'd be in the city by now. We were ambushed by cultists. Half of us were captured, the other half ran here. Off the anvil into the forge. We'll find them. Hopefully. Before you run off into the belly of the beast, there's something I need to tell you. Well, two things. Good news and bad news. Ah, uh, let's hear the good news. I only need one more piece of infernal iron to craft an insulating chamber that can make it possible for Karlik to- Touch people! Exactly. Oh my god. It's really happening. It's been so long. So come on. Let's get this show on the road. We need to find that iron. Hang on. I think you'll want to hear the bad news too. Ah, uh, it'll keep. I have infernal iron to find. Karlak, believe me, this isn't something you should... Let's move. Ah, uh, <coughs> At least let me show you where to look. I'm not sure the infernal iron will still be there, but I can show you a few places of interest. Wait, oh, I missed the multi-classing tutorial. I'm too impatient. All I need is a second bit of infernal metal and I'm cured. This is so exciting. Let's make tracks. Okay, let's go back to camp. 
Um, I think that for a while I am going to... Yeah, they really need to make this much easier to do. I think that for a while I'm going to um, run around with Carlac. I like having beefy non-spell casting guys in my party because it just it makes life easier for me. Why am I... So, where's that? Where's Gale? Oh, he's right here. All right, so we'll remove Gale from the party. Go ahead. I'm listening. Rain camp. I question the wisdom. I'll be. And then we'll bring Asterion back. I just I like having the barbarian in the team because it's just very tanky and very damagey at the same time. Yes. Okay, we'll put her second in the group. Come on, move. All right, let's move on. Oh, I don't ever, I didn't actually change weapons out for her. Um, okay, so I have a great ax somewhere. Where's that ax? It's right here. So we are going to give her, well, maybe we might give her. So five to 21 versus six to 16. So we're definitely gonna give her that. But let's also talk. Let's also talk to him to see how fast the search. Maybe, but I. All right. Yeah, let's see the, let's see what she has on offer. Or let's see what he has on offer. So she is wearing gloves of missile snaring. I don't need that. She's wearing scale mail at the moment. Um. I'm actually... Hold on. Uh, something about fast movement, right? Character sheet. Where'd she go? Carlac. Fast movement. Movement speed increased by 10 feet while not wearing heavy armor. So I'm good with that. Okay, cool. How fast the search? So I need to put her in... I need to put her in something that is going to make her better at doing stuff. Chain shirt is medium armor. That will bring that up. But before I commit to that, let's go to talk to the other shopkeeper and see if I, I just don't I don't want to buy things and then waste money having to sell things back. Let's double check her real quick. And then our next thing will be to go find the hell armor, the hell, hell armor pieces or hell infernal, med, infernal metal or whatever you want to call it. Let's go into trade mode. So the mighty cloth, bull strength, you gain... Hmm, I think I might actually do that. I, I, I knew I remember there being a reason. We're, gonna, we're just going to do that. Okay, so we'll sell that. We'll hold on to her original thing, but I don't see any reason... And then the Defender's Great Axe will do less damage. Nah, I'm not interested in that. Less damage. Take care now. Okay. So just we'll check the other shop one more time just to be sure we're happy with what we got. And then we'll continue on. So I'll make sure he doesn't have a better a better weapon. How fast the search? I don't I didn't really look at weapons when I was here before. Uh get back onto her. Less damage. It's not a great weapon. Okay, yeah, I think we're I think she's about as good as it's gonna get, so that's fine. Bull strength. Okay. Let us continue on our journey then. We need to go talk to Jahira, I think, right? Yep, so let's quick save. We'll go talk to Jahira and then continue on our way. I tell you what, man, my fighter looks pretty BA. 
That's badass for those of you who don't know. Thought you'd be ten yards tall the way Zevlor spoke of you. Oh, I didn't Sarah, need to talk to her. Pity. You pulled them from one gone. We were out. I didn't mean to talk to her. Making example. Those of us who cut free just kept running till we found. Ah, oh. well, maybe you'd. Be I'm trying to talk to Jahira. Oh, there she is. Please, be welcome. Have a drink. Oh, my gods. To your very good health. To your very good health. Man, that's some cool looking armor. I don't imagine we'll be upgrading our armor for a very long time. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. There's an air about you. Something alien. Answer me true and do not lie. The parasite is changing you. Isn't it? Mm. Yeah, it's giving me powers I never had before. Look around you. Good men, good women. Stranded here, two feet in the grave. If we're to survive, I have no choice but to trust you. Can I? Mmm, you trust me. Good. Because I'll cross your heart myself if you break it. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. If he's... Uh... Well, who was he? General Gadric Thorm. Remember that name. He's the leader of the Absolutists. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Ketherick Thorn live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met him on the road here. Commanding an army of the Absolute, intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself. Only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless. But experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. That was weird. So what do you have in mind? Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword, Together, we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Solid plan, but it puts me in the line of fire. You're the only one who can get inside the towers. You were born for this mission. Or made for it, rather. Besides, you need this. You need to heal yourself of your infection. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at Moonrise. Well, how do I reach him? The towers are surrounded by shadows. You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel, a faithful cleric of Seluna, and a light in the darkness. She cast the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you. And she'll see you through the shadows safely. Okay. 
Um, stairs. I think they're over here, right? Yep. Well, let's go talk to her, and hopefully we're going to get ourselves a cool blessing. I didn't realize I had an audience. The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Pleased to meet you. Mm. And you, I heard you're the protector of this inn. Myself and Our Lady are doing what we can to hold the line. I hear you and your tadpole will be our offense. Free from the Absolute's influence, yet able to walk among cultists. It's almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Let me guess. Jahira sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. Why, yes. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. But there are places it won't help. Places where the curse is darker, stronger. The cultists are able to traverse even the deepest shadows, though. I don't know how. The Harpers are trying to figure it out. Okay. Salunite magic. Dark lady, forgive me. Good nose. Like a nasty little terrier. Anything else I should know before heading off? Ketherick is a frightening man. But you have something he doesn't. Allies worth having. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait. Do you hear that? Something's wrong. Hmm. Hello, Isabel. Marcus, is that you? What's happened to you? I've been blessed. You can be too. Come with me, and you can hear all about it from Catherick himself. Uh, Isabel, do you know this man? He's a flaming fist. Or was came with the others when we created this haven. And I thank you for your hospitality. True soul, my instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick alive. Wisdom, probe his thoughts for more information. Very easy check. A haunting face swims into your mind's eye. Its instructions vivid in your mind. Nothing is more important than bringing the girl alive what's going on if you have something to say say it marcus is trying to kidnap you we need to we're going to need our we're going to need to fight our way out of this one pathetic the absolute sees all your treachery will be punished the absolute of course you can't believe them marcus Catherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised he already has. Time to go, Isabel. Nope. Well, 
Well, maybe. Now it's time to fight. All right, dude. I hate the clickiness. I hate the clicking on this. All right. Demon's turns. That's fine, come up here and fight me. If you're fighting me, you're not killing civilians. You'll make excellent fertilizer. Nice. Okay, what's going on? We got a demon out here. Okay, we'll put a we'll put a spiritual weapon over here to fight this one. And then we will do a Guiding Bolt at level 3 on the big guy here. Let's make this quick. Nice. And then we'll put her right there. Nice. It died? I'm confused. All right, I guess that's the end of that turn. We are going to rage. We're gonna get her in here to go bash him. Open up. Nice, that's a lot of damage. Need lots of critical hits like that. Oh, here comes the demons trying to come up here to fight us up there. Feel free to kill that one. Nice. Okay, what are we gonna do here? We will do... We gotta kill this guy. Level two guiding bolt. Did I hit the wrong one? Oh, crap. They should make you confirm. I hate, I do that more often than you think. Isabel, no. What in the nine hells happened? Marcus is a true soul. He, he said he was taking Isabel to Catherick Storm, Catherick Thorm. God spare us. Catherick was planning That's extremely annoying. Alone. Listen closely, for there's very little time. Even if last light falls, your mission does not change. You must find Catherick Thorm. And you must kill him. As impossible as that task sounds, there must be a way to break the spell that makes him invincible. 
There are secrets in this ancient waste hidden from... But hark. Something stirs. It's happening. They'll all be taken by the shadows. Only by the grace of Isabel's spell will we be spared the same fate. We cannot hesitate. Not even for those we knew. Those we cared for. They're no longer who they were. Steal your hearts. And steady your hands. To battle! Well, shit. I'm guessing that means my well unfortunately I can't afford for this to happen so we're gonna have to go back and fix it because I can't afford for this to happen I need him for upgrades so crap all right. Well, hopefully you guys are enjoying the hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Be sure to click the like button so that the YouTube algorithm knows that you do. Subscribe to the channel so you know when the video next video comes out. And I do have a link to my Patreon in the description if you'd like to help me turn this channel into a thriving online business. Again, thank you very much for your time. And I'll see you for the next one.